All right, ladies, gentlemen, esteemed non-binaries, Trash can all good evening, and welcome back to Trash Your Gaming. We're getting back into Stray Souls. Second session. So we left off after finishing the cemetery last time, and uh, we're off to Aspen Falls PD, looking for answers about that uh, absentee father. Oh, I can select it? Okay, that, that's something. So, again, a quick reminder, this game does feature flashing lights, so please take all due precautions if you are photosensitive. And away we go. Right into a cutscene? Right into a cutscene. Central precinct. Oh, that's looking a little grainy. Stay close. They'll need you wandering off and getting killed. Okay, okay. Jeez, you can be bossy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I see there's that mustache there. Guess we gotta get power up and running before we do anything else. I wonder what happened here. Whatever it is, it can't be good. You said it, buddy. This place gives me the willies. It looks deserted. Let's check around and see if there's another way in. Okay. Music is kind of a dead giveaway. I'm going to end up in a fight. Certainly good at building tension. As far as like, I could really use a breather after the the endless endless torrent of combat that was the woods. Great! I thought there'd be a door here. Maybe the gate is open. Harm and trying. Potentially plenty of harm and trying, buddy. Damn it. I don't know what to do next, but we've got to find a way in. Iron bars. Hey. On the evening of OA2423, witness saw what they described as a ritualistic sacrifice take place in the Waukegi. Waukega Natural or Forest National Park. There were allegedly nine individuals dressed in hooded robes who proceeded to sacrifice a young woman at the base of the location known as the Devil's Tree. The individuals engaged in some sort of group chant. The witness stated they could not make out much of what was said, but they did hear the phrase, the vessel shall be taken by force, repeated multiple times. The witness came forward because they believed the victim may be the young woman who went missing earlier in the year in the same part of the forest the witness described the victim as female possibly mid-20s but no other features could be made out all right let's jog it whoa Okay, that, that delayed, uh... Kinda tells me you don't want me around here. <sighs> you can chill with the jump scares game, really? I mean... Martha, check this out! Ooh, nice find! Maybe we can get power back up from that shed over there. Incidentally, you're better off bashing a lock than shooting it. No, seriously. Jesus, man. That's loud. <laughs> this is my new key to anywhere. Wow, dude. Just wow. Let's check the door. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. I saw the girl come in today. 
guess she was going to give her statement about what she saw last week. I'm letting you know that... that I'm letting you, you know now that something will have to be done about that. Her father is an officer here and seems he's really involved with this or with his kid. If there's any way to capitalize on that to keep her quiet, then do it. Some free advice. If you're doing scummy stuff, don't write it down. That's a nice rock. Alright, none smoking area. See what we've got here. Waiter, we'll siphon some gas from the cars out front. Just be uh, careful, okay? The fact that nobody's come to arrest us for breaking and entering a police station isn't sitting so well with me right well, now. Marty, I'll be fine. Besides, I have this. Wonderful. Maybe you can shoot someone and then we'll get properly arrested. If you insist. Yeah, this is going to turn into a fight. I can feel it. We don't get into the fights while we're with our sister. This side. Aha. Uh -huh. These cars should have some gas. You'd imagine that. Enough. Might as well check the others while I'm here. You know, before the game inevitably jump scares me again. Although, again, the problem to my mind is petroleum generators do exist. However, generally, large scale generators use diesel or propane. I suppose there are generators that can run on either petroleum or diesel, but as a rule of thumb, that's that's not a thing. Stop engine and refill, yeah, that's feels pretty standard. Was that not enough? Is there a separate fill point? Do you want me to scavenge here? Surprise, surprise! No gas. Okay, that's Fuck, this is ridiculous! Real weird. I'm damn. God, one of these cars should have some gas. I'm damn. These cars should have some gas. All right, well, let's do some reading. Stacy, just a reminder that when you arrive at the station, you'll have to get buzzed in. We had to install some heavier security after those chiefs, or chefs, tried to raid us last month. The chefs. So now everyone gets vetted before coming inside. Once you're in, Brenda can call the detective who will be ta or taking your statement. Remember to stay calm and give as much detail about what you saw as possible. Sorry I couldn't be there today. Chief needed me up at Waukega to look for some missing camper and her dog. <sighs> so it's all hands on deck except the skeleton crew. Love you, kiddo, dad. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's let's scope out this far side of things. See if that's a directional gate. Nope, that's a standard gate. Okay. Do you want me to check all the cars? Or does it want me to go catty corner to to the ambulance here? get jumped. Oh, 
Well, if there's anything to scavenge from there. When the car's out front. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's bumble up front until it uh, lets me loose. Or I realize what it's on about. Or I get jump scared. It feels like really bad instructions. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there. Got three or four ammo stations up here, like. Also, no. What? Okay. Two, four. Oh, okay, I see where I'm. I'm missing. Okay, so only the civilian vehicles have gas. That's odd. But okay. Well, I got I got a little more world building out of it, I suppose. Nothing else. A little frustrating. Oh, here we go. Oh, you ugly. Drop me in near. Peace. Bullets punches here. Definitely there's no critical hit areas in this game. That's about what I expected.
Quickly, quickly, quickly. Dear sweet glob. Not not before I fill up on ammo, dude. Period. I thought they were being a little generous here. I, I was wrong. They're giving you enough. Mm, let's snag that top side first. Oh, they are being generous. Alright, 16 in reserve. Okay, I think that'll do. I hope that'll do. I still don't know why you wouldn't single hand the pistol at this point, buddy, but I'd be. Oy, that, 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 that was rough. Sure it'll get worse before it gets better. What the hell was all that shooting? Some freaky I don't know, monster. I had some freaky monster. I, it was really big and really pissed off. Just one. Just a couple. Yeah. Well, I didn't stick around to see if more showed up. Don't sass me. We'd better hurry. That gunfire might attract others. She's not wrong. Unfortunately, we don't have any silent options because we only have golden boomstick. Did he just press the panel itself? Wow. I think I'd be used to the oddly specific instructions by now, but... <laughs> okay, that's cute. You see you didn't model an entryway block there, but okay, that, that works well enough. Non emergencies line? Wonder if that works. Oh, okay, four digit. Oh, I did four digit. Wonder where that calls to. We got an open case. Some Duracells. Says you. Oh, that's just some loose, loose bullets on on the floor there, huh? Oh, we're at full. Some more loose bullets. I thought that was like a photo. Hey, hallway. Yoinkus. Hmm. Like they're good at doing mood. It's just just the gameplay. That a lamp? Portable battery? I mean, they're giving me a lot of bullets. I feel this is about to descend into CQC hell. What about that? Nope. Alright, well, let's try this side first. There we go. 
health station. Somebody crying. Headquarters. Well, I guess it's a good thing we, we heard that disturbing crying in, in the laboratories. Says you. Just uh, yeah. See if we we got a way in here. The break room. Oh yeah, it's a break room. I've already saw one. Sheriff to the rescue. Local sheriff takes down child trafficking group linked to secret society. September 20th, 2003. Notorious child trafficking group rumored to be an offshoot of the Society of Unified Silence. The Suf. A secretive organization that has its roots in the nearby town of Aspen Falls has been stopped by... Petrosky Police Detective... Vincent Guadagino. Guadagino? Guadagino? I'm probably butchering that name. During the raid, which took place on the evening of September 15th, Detective Guadagino discovered a bunker located beneath the farmhouse that housed a group of captive children. One of those children was Melody Jane Simmons whose disappearance had made headlines only a week before the raid when she was abducted from a family day trip to Wakiga Forest. Detective Gorgina is set to receive a special commendation from the Aspen Fowles Town Council for excellence in service tomorrow. When asked about the rumors involving the Society of Unified Science, Detective Gorgina said had this to say, I wouldn't discuss rumors without having hard facts in hand, but it seems very likely to me that if this group of tractors had one hidden bunker, that there are probably others that we have that we have yet to uncover. Um, not a bad line of reasoning, but... Ooh, seems a lot of people in the office brown baked it. Eh, it makes sense for a small town. What? Your choice is the diner, or if you're lucky, the other diner, and occasionally the Mexican or the Chinese restaurant. If you're very lucky. Perhaps even the steakhouse on rare occasion. Otherwise known as the nice restaurant you bring your date. Hey, let's go this way. Good to oh, me. that's not good. Alright, fine. Oh, he did. Ugh, did you have to... have to keep the eyes open? Ugh. Keep up. I'm not trying. <laughs> Yikes. now well i guess we'll have to look around for a key you can try the chief's office seems like a likely place to find that it's a good plan to me you ever just feel the game shoo you along and no it's some be up and down its own huh Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those 
jump scare, I missed it. Just wanted to remind you that we've got a technician coming out tomorrow to replace the armory keypad. The old your code no longer work. You'll need to see Brenda at the front desk to receive an updated one. Now search me. If there's an armory, maybe there's a different weapon. Maybe we'll be lucky. Yeah, I've, I've got no clue what you're cowering about. Oh, you're psychic! That is a long death animation. Alright, let's get this over with, shall we? I'm just looking for stray bullets. Hey! There have been plenty generous bullets, which, of course, makes me real suspicious. Alright, let's scope this out. Locker room. So we're going with the the good old iron mesh there. All right, nothing up note here. Armory, huh? goods here. Weird, I thought we were on the first floor that's it's built into the side of a mountain. Weird choice for texture there. Oh, here we go. Officially posted on 110214 A Brief History of Aspen Falls. Aspen Falls flourished a quintessential Midwestern farming community during the latter half of the 20th century, its fields yielding abundant harvests that sustained both the townsfolk and the thriving trade that extended beyond its borders. The community, deeply entrenched in its religious convictions, projected an image of being a normal, devout community rooted in Judeo-Christian values. Ugh, it's been a while since I've heard that phrase thrown around. Outwardly, they donned the guise of conventional citizens, but behind closed doors, most of the citizens practiced a faith far removed from the accepted norm. The, uh, or to the outside world, whispers and rumors swirled around the Aspen, around Aspen Falls, and there were never-ending murmurs of an ignorant of enigmatic rituals and practices that borrowed from the occult. Tales of, myst her of mysterious cattle mutilations, sightings of UFOs, an alarmingly high rate of missing persons, especially young children, circulated. This branded the town as a place to be avoided, and spoken of only in hushed tones. 
a strange fact set has been or that set has been apart from other towns in the area was the fabled convergence of ley lines upon which the town was built the energetic pathways said to crisscross the earth were believed to carry mystical and spiritual forces legends whispered that the town's foundation that had the town's foundations rested upon a rare conduction of these ley lines imbuing the land with an otherworldly energy. Something even more particular about the location the town was founded location the town was founded was the existence of a massive deposit of quartz at the heart of the convergence according to the writings of the inner circle this deposit this extraordinary deposit acted as a reservoir for spiritual energy drawing upon the metaphysical currents coursing through the ley line Strangely, the quartz was absent from the surrounding soil, suggesting that it had been deliberately placed there, although its true purpose was veiled in mystery. Well aware of the significance of these ley lines and the potent energy contained within the quartz, the inner circle harnessed these forces to further their esoteric practices. The rituals and ceremonies conducted at key sites throughout the town allowed them to tap into the ethereal power of the convergence, channeling it for their dark purposes. The quartz acting as a conductor intensified the spiritual energy, heightening their connection to the realms beyond, or at least that's what they claimed. The townsfolk largely unaware of the true nature of their surroundings unknowingly lived upon this convergence of ley lines and the quartz deposit the extraordinary energies sweeping seeping into their everyday lives the palpable undercurrent of the mysticism and inextricable occurrences fostered an unspoken understanding among the residents and it nurtured a collective sense of secrecy and reinforced the town's insularity. Hmm. By 1983, Aspen Falls became a nexus of hidden knowledge, an extraordinary phenomenon. A place where the boundaries between the physical and metaphysical blurred. If you were... If you were believed... If you were believed... If you were to believe, I believe you mean, the rumors, those who dared venture near the town sensed in eerie present a palpable vibration in the air stirred both curiosity and fear hidden within the town's seemingly idyllic facade the inner circle conducted rituals ancient rites and esoteric practices to strengthen their connection with the dark forces they worship their gatherings took place within secret locations concealed beneath innocent facades, a seemingly ordinary barn, a forgotten cellar, or a seemingly abandoned house. Within these enclaves, the devotees delved deeper into the forbidden knowledge, harnessing dark energies to prepare for the pivotal moment when the destined savior would arise. Over the years, the inner circle's influence permeated the town, subtly shaping its culture, traditions, even its architecture to align with their beliefs. Symbols and iconography associated within their twisted faith adorned secret meeting places, hidden chambers. Throughout Aspen Falls, festivals, celebrations, and agricultural activities were woven into the fabric of daily life, concealing the clandestine workings of the inner circle. This do go on. <clears throat> the townspeople who weren't directly privy to the workings of the inner circle carried on believing that all the strange occurrences late night again late night council meetings and strange places all over town to be in essential part of the town's ultimate design within the intricate belief prophecy and manipulation Aspen Falls stood as a battleground between light and darkness you haven't introduced anybody on the light side, though. A place where the fate of the world hung in the balance. But if you drove through the town on any given day, you'd never notice. 
Okay, like, you're, you're naming all these cultists, but none of them seem to be around to bump back no more. Speaking of bump back! Alright, so that's the armory. Ah. Alright, excuse me, Trashkin, I'm gonna fetch my notepad to note that down. Okay, got it. Picnic bench, diamond, crosshair, signpost. Must be a legend somewhere around here. Oh god, I'm playing with the keyboard. What am I thinking? Ugh. That'll go badly for me. Alright, now you shoot me through here before game. Oh, that's conference? Yeah, we'll avoid that for the time being. That's gonna trigger something, and we both know it. I'm pretty sure something's gonna crawl through there. <laughs> ah. Lieutenant Komarowski arrives tomorrow. There will be a briefing fo conference room followed by a short meet and greet session. After that, Sergeant Phillips will be in charge of giving L.T. Karonsky the grand turn of the statement or station until 1400 hours when the lieutenant will give a weapons demonstration in the fire range. We're very lucky to have him and should provide him with a welcoming experience during his stay with us. Huh. else okay let's work our way back up front see if there's any notes I missed ah this feels like a missed note oh no that's the sign in I'm not even gonna let me you know, that's a glass pane, and we have a pistol on hand. That's not really what you would call a barrier. Just, uh, like, you, you want to make sure it's, like, cross-hatched or wire-reinforced, the, the unshatterable variety, something. All right, well, I guess we're going to the conference room, then. You might ask, Rass, why are you trying for all the lore? And I'm like, I'm trying for all the lore so, A, I have more to laugh at, and B, so I don't have to do this twice. Bullets, bullets everywhere. International Learning and Development Exchange Programs, United States Poland. Welcome aboard, Lieutenant Matsuz Komarowski. Well, I guess it's like in school, right? Trade one of ours for one of theirs for I a guess. month or so. Seems like a good way to experience other cultures and uh, styles of law enforcement. Lift a little, then drag, and, and move the chairs first. Make sure the drawers are empty if you can. Good glob, man. Damn, we keep striking out. Not necessarily. What do you mean? Shoot the lock. The door looks pretty flimsy. It'll pop right open. Okay, game. Just for the record, shooting locks is very hazardous and should only be done with proper training. This can go wrong in several ways. You don't want to shoot the lock. You want to shoot above or below, unless you have specialized equipment. <laughs> Why 
find a combination. Let's see, for military, looks like Ranger, Navy, and I'm going out of limb, but Marine. So, being center, I'm guessing our chief was an Army Marine. Or, excuse me, an Army Ranger. Probably airborne. Oh, the history of the Inner Circle. What? <laughs> Just handing me this? Okay, game. Storytime trash can get comfortable. Uh, now's a great time to refresh your snacks. In the early 20th century, the Society of Unified Silence, a secretive sect practicing a unique form of pseudo Christianity, hmm. emerged within the heartland of America, standing in opposition to mainstream doctrine. This society believed in a dual nature of God, perceived it as both the creator and destroyer rather than an inherently merciful being. Over time, a division arose within the society leading to formation of the inner circle to serve as a guiding body for the cult. During the, f uh, during the mid 1920s, the splinter group became fixated on the darker aspects of their beliefs, developing into worship and exaltation of the destructive nature of God. They interpreted the suffering and chaos as intentional or as an intentional act of God, a punishment meant to teach humanity a profound lesson. Only the most devout members of the inner circle were privy to an ancient prophecy foretelling these events, which served as the foundation for their beliefs. Driven by their conviction and the desire to enact God's plan, they sought refuge away from prying eyes and settled in secluded lands of central Michigan. There, they founded the town of Aspen Falls, entirely imaginary, I assure you, where they could pursue their secretive work undisturbed. Driven by their connection to the so-called truth, the inner circle recognized that the contemporary religious institutions of the time would vehemently dispute or reject their beliefs to avoid scrutiny and interference from the outside world. The sect cunningly disguised their activities by operating Aspen Falls as an ordinary agricultural community. This facade allowed them to thrive and consolidate their influence over the town without raising suspicion. Within the inner circle, a prevailing belief held that their purpose was to pave the way for the birth of the Savior. Although they were acutely aware, the followers of the mainstream religion would view this figure as the destroyer. Among the sect's more extreme writings, it was asserted that the chosen child would need to possess a very specific bloodline, as only such a lineage could sufficiently contain the will of God, the destroyer, also known as darkness. According to their literature, only a very specific young man, having reached the age of 18 and born into great adversity, would possess the capacity to assume the role of the herald in reshaping the world. Only one of five founding families of Aspen could trace its ancestry far enough to lay claim to this special bloodline, and their descendants were always ushered into positions of prominence within the community. Oh, excuse me. Of prominence within the community over the passing decades. Members of this influential family exerted control over crucial aspects of the town's governance and spiritual life. Unbeknownst to the unsuspecting townspeople, the inner circle meticulously orchestrated events and manipulated circumstances to identify and groom potential candidates who matched the prophesized attributes. These individuals, often born into challenging circumstances, were subtly guided and influences throughout their lives and steered towards fulfilling their intended destiny as the harbinger of destruction. 
crazy part of the situation is that the Inner Circle formulated a plan to mass-produce these potential vessels. The methods they used to accomplish this were brutal and unforgiving, but surprisingly compartmentalized. The trauma was all similar, and to the watchful eye, the patterns were blatantly ob obvious. Uh, rewrite. <laughs> No, I'm serious. Rewrite. I, I sincerely doubt anyone could pull this dance number off. You see, the inner circle is actually the Alpha Marines! You think you've won, but you've really played into our plan. Your ultimate corruption is now begun. Type stuff. Which really just makes me roll my eyes hard like it works for a creepy pasta for a video game it's me going okay then why haven't we bumped in any hooded lunatunes by now if they're everywhere they're usually nowhere I reminded of a particular game that had me go up against the uh, cultists after a fair tick of killing monsters, and my natural reaction being... Eh. Enough to remark uh, about the corpse for either of you. Just Tuesday for you guys, huh? I've no idea where to look. It must be somewhere. Clear. Oh, some more ammo hidden back there. That's not... Chief really needs to secure their stuff. Oh! Okay, I see the puzzle now. stars or the crosshairs eight seven let me get my pen there we are I should have thought of this in the first place Nine. Seven. I wonder if they made that generate random style. I don't see any stray drawings on this one. But let's be sure, shall we? Oh, can't get around that one. We mean no game. Did, did that keyboard... Yeah, it just queued. Nice, nice work, game. Nice work. Alright, well, that's one puzzle we figured out ahead of time, if nothing else, Trashkin. Sadly... I'm gonna have to fiddle until I work out what do. Well, pause here then. Oh, well I found a bit of reading material. The prophecy, according to the ancient prophecy revealed by uh, revered by the Society of the United Science 
unified silence, the narrative of the creation and rebellion. A creation and rebellion unfolds. In the beginning, God forged the heavens and the earth, fashioning mankind into his own image to act as stewards of his new creation. However, humanity's defiance led to the downfall of God from his celestial throne. In the wake of this betrayal, God made a solemn promise to exact revenge upon mankind. Vowing to return, once humanity had forgotten its creator, the prophecy further proclaimed that only those who held steadfast to the memory and worship of God would they be spared from the impending devastation. The Rune the symbol ubiquitous throughout the world of stray souls. What? Represents the ancient Sumerian rune crudely depicted that signifies the darkness. The rune, when displayed, possesses an eerie ability to amplify the powers of the darkness, empowering it to corrupt the very fabric of the surrounding world. The rune acts as a conduit, heightening the malevolent influence of the darkness and intensifies its ability to reshape and manipulate reality. The darkness, enigmatic force known as the darkness, looms ominously around Daniel as a consequence of his paramount against with the cult's grand design. Unbeknownst Daniel, he serves as a vessel. Oh, I'm reading the extended cut stuff. Ugh. Oh, his body unwillingly preparing itself for the accumulation of the sex plans. As he traverses the world, an imperceivable aurora emanates from him, permeating his surroundings with corruptive influence. This unseen aurora infects and taints higher functioning living creatures and cowers progressively growing stronger with each transformation into a monstrous form the darkness materializes by distorting living beings based on their environments and activities mirroring their innermost desires and primal instincts the affected creature becomes consumed by their id their monstrous forms reflecting upon the influence of the darkness spreads through aspen falls Pierceable sack. Sacred gut. Thirty-five. This. Cold. Nineteen eleven. A one. Okay. Let's get into that, shall we? This has a similar form factor. But it's too honking big. This is a 19 level done in roughly the size of a freaking deagle, my dude. The proportions is off. Well, I didn't know I was getting the, the extended cut stuff here. I thought I would get a nice pile of files to read. Ugh. Doesn't make sense for it to be in game. I'm telling you. All right, back to the office. Must be something somewhere here. Nothing to read there. Aha. Martha, look at this. It's dated almost 18 years ago to the day. Looks like the chief earned his spot at the top of the local law enforcement food chain. They sure do line up. Let's keep looking for that key. We're not looking for a key. Two thousand and three, September twenty eighth, two thousand and three. Twenty. Twenty eight oh three. Twelve's a possibility. This dog goes up to twelve? Well, I guess it goes one past eleven.
why would it go past nine? That's the common... I, I know there are... That's a nice kinder surrounding. That's some, some good artistic interpretation there. Ah, Pa and Son at the Beach, no doubt. Brooklyn Bridge. It's a weird choice. And Mars. That's the sole clue in this spot. Remember there was... Excuse me, Trash, and I'm, I'm going to rifle back through the previous notes. This is really weird working on a lock that doesn't have a zero. Let's try... Three... Nine... Nope. Well, I'm gonna keep with this trashkin. Oh, there we go. Let's see where these keys lead us, okay? We can't quit until we've got what we came for. Mistress Alkin, as long as we stick together, we've got this. I know. Let's let's just get what we came for and get out of here as fast as we can. This place is seriously creeping me out. Yeah. Not a lever, but this should still be useful. Quick shot upgrade. <laughs> ah, why you be creeping? What is going on? Let's get back to Daniel. Make sure he's okay. Neck and bridge speed, baby. Got no stray bullets here. Muscle pass. Yoink. Uh, is it just me or is that really weird and our sister teleported to to the other room there? Well, what can you do? I think I'll take some uh, spare bolts from here. I must admit, they're being real generous with bullets now. <laughs> that, that's how it works. You heal, you heal damage by by taking a medicine cabinet's worth of stuff. Some just seem to be loose pills, though. All right. Oh, we got a quick strat upgrade. I kind of wish we had a status screen, though. An inventory, an archive would be nice. Let's see, casino, whole bank, 
Russian meeting of suspects. Alright, let's see if we can get into there finally. Eh, it's not gonna let me. Okay, fine game. You win this round. But I have to ask, with a perfectly good desk that could just be cleared and used, why would you pick the interrogation room? I'm gonna read here. No out there. Find the jail. Um. All right. Uh. uh a map screen would be nice for for this uh, claustrophobic stuff. Oh yeah, why well, would we need to find the jail? The jail was down. <sighs> Game! I remember there being stairs. That much I remember. When we got shooed through, I could have sworn. Well, hell, Trashkin. Well, hell. I don't want to pause recording again. But I might not get a choice this time, so while I get it together, Trashkin. Oh, there we go. I was one, one corner away. Why don't you put my gun away, game? I'll tell you when I'm done with my gun. Was there a point to that? Bulky cake. Bulky cake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're on about, game, but just in case, I'm going to pause here and make a note. Well, Trashkin, I, I went and, uh. Went and mash stop record instead of. instead of unpause again. What can you do? Maybe it's a cipher. Uh. You know, like a code. Seems pretty simple. Let's look around. Why would you do this game? This feels real bad. <clears throat> oh god, that feels even worse. Okay. Um. Alright. Oh, it's so slow. Okay, fall gig. Okay, thank God it's caps lock. Fall. Chi. Whoa, game. G E. Take. Uh. 
Okay. Cipher. You don't think they went rot 18 or rot 14 on us here, do ya? Ball G E cake. Hmm. Okay, well, it's been a while since I've dealt with a cipher. Nothing to interact with here, nothing to interact with here, nothing to interact with here. Pardon me. Nothing to interact with here. Oh, well, what about this big old file cabinet? No? Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna fiddle for a bit, Trashkin. Well, Trashkin, I was stumped, and then I remembered. The cake is a lie. Oh, so the success zone was the only one you programmed in, huh? Oh, what we got, what we got, what we got! Was that electronically locked? How? That's pretty standard to me. Look here, like... at the bottom. Mother rushed to hospital and pronounced DOA. Doctors uh -huh. performed emergency C-section and retrieved unborn child who was given into grandmother's care once doctors released him. What? That's you. You too. Eldest son deceased. Daughter in critical condition from a single gunshot wound to the torso. Do you see anything about, you know, him? Looks like Dad went missing immediately after committing the murders. Well, you want to bet he ran back home. failed to locate him. There was an open investigation for a while. Oh, this is interesting. Could be a lead. Detectives searched the family's home located in the outskirts of Aspen Falls, but found the house abandoned with no sign of the suspect. Isn't that close to here? Yeah. Does it list an address? Yeah. 1138 threw away. That's been false. That's... that's our house. It's where we should check next, but I never thought I'd end up back there. Ever. Uh-oh. So help me glob if this is a boss fight. Oh! Here we go. Tree sword! even supposed to. gonna make things real rough for me. Stay down. This is so fucked. Yep. That is a good thing. What is happening here? What? Is nobody safe from whatever's going on. There was no gas in any of those. Where did we get the keys? Oh, my head. It was a good... It seems like there's some cut content there. Was that the chief? Or... Like, what? what's... What are these monsters we're fighting? There's no groundwork laid there. The pair narrowly escaped the corruption at the police station and make their way towards Aspen Falls in a stolen police cruiser. On the outskirts of town, they hear an explosive pop from under the hood, followed by a large cloud of steam. Their vehicle comes to a stop. 
And that is where we're going to call this session, Trashkin. Well, it took me longer than expected, but we got there eventually. That's the police station done and dusted. We've only got a bit more, I'm sure. But when I told you I delivered trash games, did I lie? This is rough. So, that said, I'd like to thank all of you that have come along for this trip. I appreciate the view, especially those of you that have worked your way to the subscribe button, or the comment section, or the like button, or the dislike button even. I'll take any engagement I can get at this point. I've been your humble host, Rouse of Trash Bear, and until next time on Trash Tier Gaming, remember to hydrate, medicate, and count your spoons. Take care of yourself as best you can. Remember to tell the people you love you give a good damn. Don't forget to play some games. Good night, and I'll see you all in the next one.